is up today, guys. And today I will be doing a tutorial on how to make your own Minecraft server. So first, you want to go to get bucket dot com. I think that's what it is, or maybe it's no, it's get spigot. I think. That's not it either, guys. Okay, it's get spigot dot nut maybe. Let's try dot org. Okay, here we go. This is it. So this is mcadmin.net. This is where you download your file. You want to download either spigot or craft bucket one point eleven point two. For this, I will be using Craft Bucket for this. I'll be using Craft Buckets for this. So I'll download the jar. So that's going to create there. So it downloaded now. So I'm going to keep that. So I got my jar. I'm going to rename this. So you want to create a new folder. I'm going to drag this in there and click on it. It says it's an invalid corrupt the jar file, so I'm going to have to download it from a, a different website. So I'm just going to search craft bucket download. So this is it. So this is getbucket.org. So it's craft bucket. So we're going to download 1.11.2. So it's going to download in a couple of seconds here. And I'm going to continue. And I'm going to wait again. So another jar file was corrupt. So I got this one now. Okay, so let's try this again. And it take out the three in parentheses there. I'm going to put that in, click on it, and it should generate the server info here. Certainly click on the EULA. You want to set that to true. So once that is true, and you got all this stuff in, you want to create a new text file. If you so, this is a Windows tutorial. So you would right click, go down to New, go down to Text Document, click on that, open that up. I'll give you guys the link to the text that I made in the description. So I'm gonna go to my history. So I'm gonna go to history. I need to go to paste bin where my paste bin was. I'll give that link to you. When I find it, True True is there. I watched his video. Okay, so Amazon there. Yesterday, I think I did it yesterday. Maybe. Yeah, I believe I did do it yesterday. So I'm trying to find paste bin here, guys. Where is my paste bin? Or oh, I could just search. Paste bin. Search. Okay, so here we go. We got it. Set to your link there. So I'm going to copy that. Copy that. And paste it into the new text document. I'm going to save as. Name it run. Dot bat 
I'm gonna save it as all files. I'm gonna click on desktop and I'll save it to there. So here it is right there. So you're gonna drag this in. Then you wanna click on that and then you're done. So that is your tutorial guys. So it's gonna it's supposed to go here, but oh there it goes. It says failed to bind port. Because I have to change my port because my other server is already running on it. I'll change it to two five five six six. I'll click save I'll save and then I'll try this again. Okay, good, it's loading. And it should work this time. Oh, there it goes. Now it worked. So now we got all your other server information. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get a plugin, guys. If you don't know how to do that, I'll get one. And the plugin I'll be getting is one of the needed plugins for our server. A plugin I'm going to be getting is World Edit. So you got the server up and running. I'm going to do search world edit. And then I go to here. I'm at Cursed Forge. Okay, so I'm, in my, I'm on my account on a Curse. So I'm going to download world edit. That's so that's world edit right there. So I'm gonna go to plugins. I'm gonna drop that file into there. I'm gonna do reload in the uh, server console. So it's reloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead here, guys, and join the server. I'm gonna name this one Minecraft Server. Tutorial. The address would be my IP address, my private IP address. But I'm not gonna tell that to you guys. But whatever. So I'm just gonna type in localhost. I need to go down to the bottom. Except that didn't really work. Dot dot. Two five five six six. Redo that, and there we go. So we got our server up and running. So this is the server world. So yeah, we got the server up and running. It's working great. So I guess the plugin isn't working. So I'll have to uh. redo that guys. I'm gonna have to go back into the new folder. I'm gonna have to take that jar out of there. I'm gonna search up world edit again. I'm gonna wanna go to bucket this time. So I'm at bucket now so this is the world edit. I'm gonna go world six point world edit six point one point five for 1.11 since it's the latest version I'm gonna keep that in there I'm gonna go to downloads I'm gonna drag it into there so once that's done I'll reload it again so that time it worked so I'm gonna just test it out now I need I need to uh uh, this is my other server. Here it is. So this is the server. So I want to OP and then my username. It is a little different to make a server on Mac. I've never done that before. So this is a Windows server tutorial. It's pretty darn easy to make one on Windows and Mac. So I just OP'd myself. myself. 
from your slash one. Wait, double slash one. So I've got my one. So that's working. You know, slash fly. But it's not coming right. Then we go to the stencils. Slash game mode one. It's so my game mode's creative now. So this is just a basic server with one plugin. My server has a lot of plugins and it's more advanced and it runs more smooth. But it, it doesn't run as smooth as this one since this one only has one plugin, guys. So yeah, this is just a, a tutorial server. I'm going to delete it once I'm done with it, guys. So I might mess around in here for a little bit while I'm recording this. So I'm just going to test it out. Anyway, so I says set TNT. So yep, that works. Then I'm gonna light it. My redstone torch. There we go. I'm gonna watch it blue, and the cows will die. <laughs> and that's a big explosion right there, guys. I just made that explosion happen. Other plugins you might need for your server for people to join are World Edit, which is the one I have. Essentials is an important one, which gives you warps, kits, balance, and much, much more. You're going to definitely need that. You also need like a Cross World Portals plugin. If you don't want to use Bungie, you can just make multiple worlds for your servers, guys, and just run it all from one server. Instead of using Bungie, which is difficult to do, I've not, I haven't done it. I might make this server into another server and Bungie it, but I, I, I'm not that experienced. So my my server is a cross world server. So there's like many different worlds that you can connect to, guys. So so far, my real server has a uh, four game modes. There might be more later. So. We're going to get off the uh, tutorial server in a little while. Well, right now, actually. We're going to get off the tutorial server right now. So I'm going to get off and go on my actual server. Which is right here. So I'm in the mob arena world. So I'm going to play around for you guys. I'm going to do a nether fortress. I made all three of these maps by myself. Let me know what you think in the comments below about these maps. And give me... And give me all the credit because I made all three maps. And the village one, I found the random village and turned it into a map. So I also made that too. So I'm going to go in as a uh, tank. So here we go. Let's see how we can do, guys. It's wave zero. Okay. Wave one. Okay, let's battle these things. There we go. That was an easy round. Ow, ow. Yeah, the, uh, the magma blocks are really dangerous. You don't want to go in those all day. So, yeah, this is uh, the Mob Arena plugin. I finally figured out how to work it. I've been ha I've had trouble, like, setting up the arena and stuff, guys. But I should probably f focus on fighting instead of, uh, talking right now because you know fighting is more important than talking in mob arena especially when you're recording a youtube video but i'm, gonna, I'm just gonna talk during it because i'm a pro at mob arena sort of pro i've been playing mob arena for like a year or so so i know i know what mob arena is this mob arena is just a bit tougher because it's a smaller arena than usual but, oh, my, one of my staff members just joined, so I'm going to say hi to them once I uh, get done with this. I need a health potion. Oh, crap, and I'm dead. Hi. I just played Mob Arena, and I'm recording, okay? So I'm gonna slash my L. Slash 
looks fun. So this is our brand new hub. Right here. This awesome brand new hub that me and Orblord made. So I'm gonna slash TP to my uh yeah, this is my uh staff member. He's he's a nice dude. So yeah, he's in the prison world. So this is the prison world no uh, prison world guys. So this is our prison server. We have a a a, a prison a plug a prison plugin that we use for this with um like the ranks and stuff are like configured in there too. So yeah, so we got A through F and then a god mine too. You can rank up to prison god after F, so that's basically like the last rank. So yeah, and then we got the crates here that aren't working so well right now. And we have survival mode too. And then we have skyblock as well. Those are our four modes basically. So yeah, we have those four game modes. So that will be pretty much it for this video guys. So this was your tutorial on how to set up a server. So I'm going to do one more thing for you guys. I'll show you how to uh, get a custom colored Mott D here. So yeah, as you as you saw up here, I have a custom logo in Mott D. I'm going to show you that for you guys. So I'm going to go to server. I'm going to go down to the Mott D. I'm gonna change this to like server tutorial in like two different colors maybe. Maybe like it's this way. U O O A seven one Tutorial slash U zero zero A seven and then we'll do four server. So we wanna save that and then you wanna reload the server. So I'm gonna reload like that. I'm gonna refresh my server page, and then you have that. That's your uh, colored mod D right there. So that's how you do that. So that is your basic server tutorial, guys. That's basically it. I will. See you next time, guys. Bye!